Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to uh, see how you can use SQLite Alchemy as your job store in AppScheduler. So in order for this to work we have to pip install with dash dash user the SQL Alchemy and we are going to use the SQLite Filebase database to create uh, our example. So now what we have to do is to create a script. So SQL arc.py and from up scheduler that schedulers dot background we are going to import the blocking scheduler and basically we create our hello function and in a timely fashion and we create our scheduler from the blocking scheduler and we add the job store which is going to be SQL or Kami and we are going to use a URL and this URL will use SQLite Example dot SQLite. Uh, mind the three dashes here, not two. And we create an alarm time from the date time now plus time delta seconds equals five. And in order for this to work, we need to import from the date time the time delta and the date time and now we can uh, use the sked add job and we add our hello function and it's going to be a date based and the run date is going to be the alarm time and we don't really need to pass any arguments what we have to do is to start this one and python sql arc.py one two three four five and it's working and as you can see we have an example that sqlite and if we want we can download the db browser for sqlite and Hmm. On Linux, we should be able to download this one. And once the download is complete, we should be able to check it. I, I'm curious what kind of structure it makes. So let's go to the downloads chmod plus x db browser for sqlite up image it has downloaded plus x and symbol lookup error copy arch fedora Hmm, maybe we should do this this way. SQLite browser. Hopefully. Well, let's try to do it this way. It should take not much time. All right, and we will have the DB browser for SQLite. We can open the database, home, desktop, upscale, example, SQLite, and there we go. <coughs> so let's try to run it again. And as you can see, we have a job ID. And after it completes, we have this removed. 
So this is how you can use SQLite and SQL Alchemy for your job store in AppScheduler. See you in the next one.